Hey guys, I just wanted to put this video together to explain how to use the text-to-speech alert and chat chatbot script with various languages like Spanish or Russian or, or, or whatever language you happen to be using on Twitch. Um, so if, if I come down to my taskbar here and I type in settings, this will open up the Windows settings box. Uh, and here is where you can uh, look to download the voices that you need for your language. So if I come down to ease of access, and then we're going to go to the narrator. And here, if we, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the ability to choose a voice. Now I've loaded a, a handful of voices here, but we have uh, English, Spanish, and, and Russian voices available. But if you don't see your, your language here, you can click add more voices, scroll down until you see this manage voices section, click add voices. And here you'll see a huge list of, of all the different voices that you can download. Um, so this is uh, provided by Windows. It's not something that I did, obviously, uh, but you, you should be able to find the language that you're looking for here. You're going to uh, check the box and, put, uh, and click add. So let me do uh, German and we'll add that. Now, if it, uh, one thing to note is there there will be this notice here that says, you know, hey, to use this new voice, make sure you close and reopen settings. So you will need to close the chatbot and reopen it. And it's also loading here. I'm going to wait for this to, to, to completely load. So that's done. Um, if I go back a few pages, I think if I go back to here and look here, there we go. We, we, we now have a, a German voice available as well. So I'm going to hop over to the chatbot. If I go to scripts and click on the text to speech script, and if I go up to the top, you can see we have all these options. And right now there is no German option because the, let me, let me bring that back up. Ease of access narrator. The German one was Hedda. And there's no header. So, and let me see. If I reload, I don't think it'll show up, but it might. It does not. So, let's close the chat bot. And let's re reopen that. We'll wait for that to load. Let me close out of this. You go back to the scripts tab, open up text to speech, look at the voices, and we have the new German voice. So I know that uh, Sabina is is the Spanish voice. So um, I have, sorry about all the jumping around. I have uh, text to speech on for all of the chat messages right now. So if I go and I put in Como están? I don't think I changed the setting, so it's currently set to uh, it's currently set to Russian. Let me hit save first. Let's hit save. All right, so let's try that again. Cruce ocho seis. ¿Cómo están? All right, so that's definitely in Spanish. Um, forgive me for using a random Russian phrase here. It was one that I just found online. So I'm going to switch to Irina, hit save, go over here, type this in. So hopefully, hopefully that is actually accurate. I'll have to have somebody confirm that for me. Let me quick look up a, a German phrase to text this, test this. All right. So I have a, 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 a phrase to test here. Let me come over here, go back up. So I'm going to switch to Hedda. I apologize if I'm just butchering these names. Uh, and then I'm going to type in this phrase. All right, so that sounded German to me. <laughs> All right, but hopefully this guy, this will help you guys 
get the text-to-speech uh, chatbot alerts script set up with various languages. I, I will be releasing a new version of the script in order to support the multilingual uh, text-to-speech in the overlay. It was the overlay that that was breaking it, um, which was kind of unfortunate. So uh, it's it's literally a one-line change, and that will be available in the GitHub link down below. And then we'll I'll, I'll also push it out to the Streamlabs chatbot Discord so that folks can download it there. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me on Twitter or in the Streamlabs chatbot Discord. And we will see y'all next time, folks. Bye-bye.